Okay, everybody, welcome to Journey with the Kellers. Uh, my name is Amanda Keller, and today we are in the Keller kitchen, kind of. So today we are going, putting, installing the new floors, which I can't talk, I guess. It's really late at night. Um, I did not catch when my husband first started this just because I was working. Um, so he's been working on it all day. It took him a while to get the refrigerator and the stove out of the way and get all the trim work down and all of that. So these are called an SPC floor. These are a thicker floor. They have a thicker padding. It's supposed to help be more supportive. Um, and these are something that you can directly install over a tile floor without having to remove the tile. So I'm really liking so far how it looks. It's kind of a grayish floor to go with the blue cabinets. And I think it'll look really awesome when it's done. Um, so I'll keep you updated. This is basically a click system and I'll just uh, let you guys watch my husband install the next one maybe. Hopefully. Boop. So basically you just put them in at an angle and press it in and then push it down. And then you have to use these um, special tools to kind of click it into place. Um, I don't know what those tools are called, but basically like a laminate floor tooling system, I guess. Now, the worst part about this is having to cut things to size. You got to make sure ones aren't too short and things like that. And anytime the floor is off, you run into problems. So. And so now he's just trying to get it to click all into place. And make sure everything is in there. So these are actually fairly easy floors to do, but like I said, with our house, because it's older, a lot of the floors are uneven. So you run into problems with, you know, trying to get things to go correctly and you have to stop along the way and even stuff out. So, you know, can be a pain in that way. But if you've got completely level floors, these are fairly simple to do. All right, you guys, so I will uh, get back with you tomorrow on this and we'll uh, see how it progresses along. Hopefully, it'll be done by tomorrow night so that we can put the kitchen back together. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Hey, you guys. So, it looks like uh, we're on the last little bit here, which is getting around this heat vent, um, heating and air conditioning vent, whatever. But the uh, floor itself is actually pretty much done. Um, still need to do the laundry room slash pantry, whatever you want to call that in there. Um, and then we still need to do um, the little like dining room out here, which is gonna probably be, I think he's gonna do that on a different day, I'm not sure. Um, so it's looking really good, I really like it with the cabinets, it kind of makes them stand out. So here's kind of everything together. So I hope you guys uh, really like it. Now you do have to remember to use spacers with this, you know, you have to space it off of the wall when you start, um, just to give it kind of room to expand and contract. Um, and you know, it's fairly easy. It does take a while, especially when you're doing a bigger room like this, because this is a fairly decent size area to do. And, uh, you know, so far it looks pretty good. I think he's happy with it. I'm happy with it. And it looks a lot better than that nasty tile, that's for sure. And this is 100% waterproof. So, uh, you know, if somebody spills anything on it or anything like that, it should just wipe right up. That'll be great. And, uh, you know, we don't have to worry about food getting down into the uh, crevices between the tile or into the mortar between the tile anymore or any of that stuff. So that'll be good as well. So, yeah. Okay, you guys. So I will uh, come back after everything is finally together and put away. And uh, we'll see the final results. Right now, everything's kind of a mess because there's stuff sitting everywhere. So uh, I'll come back after we get it all completely done. See you in a little bit. All right, you guys. So here is the finished product, okay? So I think it looks fabulous. There are still a few like trimming up things that need to be done. Um, but other than that, it looks fantastic. I love it. Um, so it's just really awesome the way it came out. Um, my husband did a really good job. Um, it took a long time. So this took almost a total of two days. Um, would have been shorter if we had had exactly everything that we needed, but unfortunately he had to take time running back and forth 
um, to the home improvement store yesterday just to keep, you know, get things that um, we didn't know that we need that we needed and then of course it takes a while to take all the trim down and to like move the refrigerator out of the way and the stove and all of that stuff so um, that took up a lot of our time so probably the actual floor part took about I would say maybe 15 hours altogether so yeah it did really well he did really well so he got it done in a weekend though and uh you know, the cats are a little confused, as you can tell. They don't know what's going on. But it looks a whole lot better than that um, nasty, dingy tile that was up. Um, and I actually really like how it looks with the new blue cabinets. Um, so now the only thing left to do in the kitchen is to update the sink. We were going to paint the um, countertops black, but we have decided the countertops already have some, like, blue and brown in them. So they kind of already match um, what we've painted. So we've decided to leave it like this. Um, but this sink here, so this sink was in when we bought the house and I'm not sure what it's made out of, but it is just really gross. You can't keep it clean. It's just not, I, I don't like it. So, um, we have bought a stainless steel sink to replace that with. And we don't have all of the floors installed yet. We still have to do the little dining area out here and we still have to do the little laundry room out here or in here, but as far as the, and like I said, we need some trim right here along this little step, and then some trim in the um, doorway to the bathroom, but, and a little bit of trim down here by where the cabinets, it butts up against the cabinets. But other than that, it looks great. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Um, and I really think this will probably help sell the house than seeing that nasty tile all over the place. So, all right, you guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Like and subscribe if you like, or don't if you don't. Hello, Seaver. Um, everybody have a good day. Enjoy your home improvements, I guess. And since we're in the kitchen, keep your kitchen messy. Because, you know, it's always messy when you're improving your kitchen. And uh, I hope you guys all have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.